panicking. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with the well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. You, you are pretty. <laughs> you're pretty, she says coolly. You... You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later... You're Julia's boyfriend. <laughs> Load the gear as well. Throwing in the gear, that's it. We did for over a year. She rides you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment, near the school with a view on the mountains, and you two drink beers on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Your life is good. And Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. And there's an intimidating, intimidating but gently eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Beagle. Shepherd. Bucket is a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. And Julia loves him. And you love the dog too. Of course. Talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9:30. Heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about? What do you think about kids? Kids? <laughs> They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying, if you and I have some kid, couple little idiots. One day, why rush? She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry. You assure her. You tell her that she has a body of an undergrad. But over, over, ovaries didn't get the memo, she says laughing it off. One day, okay? Okay, one day. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Fireworks. Ninety eighty. Thursday night. 
And Judy has four hours, four hours late. She doesn't call. Eight more miles. Oh wow, dementia. Flow to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> 